Hi guys, hi warriors. So, this is our day one of the Zika Power Cardio program. I'm doing this program with you guys, so I'm going to be working out on a regular basis according to these DVDs and this calendar and I'm going to coach you through it so that you don't give up throughout and that you know exactly what to do and I'm going to give you my feedback on every workout that I do and also I want to make sure that you eat right, so we're going to focus on that as well in this program. Now, uh, if you don't have the DVD program yet, uh, doesn't matter, you know, this is internet, these coaching videos are going to be here forever, they're not going anywhere, so you have time to still order these, these DVDs and uh, if you have them, then start right away with me and we're starting with the first DVD today, the, the red one, because that has the calendar in it and also the workout number one. So, here. At the bottom of the calendar, you have before and after photo, so that's your option. You can take your before picture today, before you start the program, and then the after photo when we're done with the program, so that you can compare your progress. Also stats, so you can put down your weight, your waist, arm and leg, and I really suggest that you do that, because, you know, sometimes when you look at yourself in the mirror week after week, uh, you might not see the progress right away, you know, because you see yourself all the time, you know, you, you might not catch the little changes that, that are happening, but the numbers will show you that you're making progress, you know, so I really suggest that you do that. I have written down my weight, it's 57 and a half kilos, my waist is 25 and a half centimeters, my arm is 10 centimeters and leg 20 centimeters and I can show you on, on my website how to do this measurement. So I'm going to take pictures show you how to do that properly. So, uh, today we're starting with workout number one. It's on this disc and, uh, and I wanted to talk to you about uh, nutrition. So, many of you have been asking me if you should be eating before you do a workout, especially if you do workouts in the morning, if you should uh, work out on an empty stomach. Now, many people do that and they feel great, they say that that's the way to go and uh, there are other people who can't do it. I'm one of those who have to eat at least a little bit before I work out, otherwise I would probably pass out. So, um, it's up to you, but I, I still suggest, even if you work out on an empty stomach, I suggest that you at least uh, take the amino acids um, supplements because you know it's protein it's a lot of protein in it and have a little bit of protein in your system before you start the workout I think it's important and I think it's gonna help you a lot also with your uh, weight loss goals so I'm eating before my workout I have a breakfast and it's made out of protein and healthy fats and uh, the carbs that are here are just out of an apple so fruit and veggies are okay uh, but if you're going for weight loss, before your workout you shouldn't eat any starchy carbs. So, no whole wheat bread, no pasta, things like that. Try to avoid that before your workout. You can have it after your workout. So, I'm eating a plain Greek yogurt, some mixed nuts and uh, I have an apple here. So that's my pre-workout meal. And after I eat this, I'm just gonna, you know, walk around the house, clean up a little bit, do some, do some chores. And then I'm gonna do the first workout and I'm gonna give you my feedback on that as well. So, I'm ready to do my workout and I just wanted to show you uh, what it looks like when I open the computer and, uh, and the DVD is in. So first thing you can see is the warm up and the workouts. So today we're doing workout one and I really want you to do the warm up because it's really important and it takes you only seven minutes. The entire workout, including warm up and cool down, should, shouldn't take you longer than 25 minutes, you know. This workout that we're doing today is a time challenge. It took me 9, minute, nine minutes and 52 seconds when we were filming it. So, um, today you can try to keep up with me, you know, that's gonna be your challenge. Or if you feel up to it, you can try to beat my time, you can try to... Just do it at your own pace and go really fast and try to complete this workout and really push yourself hard. Now, if you're having a hard time keeping up with me, 
uh, you can pause the video, you know, it's a DVD, you have the option to pause it, but try to not to take long breaks, your goal here is to push yourself really, really hard, as hard as you can. Okay, so, uh, let's do this, I'm gonna uh, see, I'm gonna follow myself, it's kind of weird, I'm gonna be following myself on the video, but I'm gonna try to keep up with myself this day, today, and see if I if I feel up to it, I'm gonna push myself harder and I'm gonna try to beat my own time and I'm gonna let you know after the workout how I felt and uh, what you should pay attention to. So let's do this. Get ready and get your workout done. Okay, so I just finished my workout and I'm so happy that I beat myself. I managed to beat my time, so as you can see, 7 minutes and 55 seconds that's how long it took me today to complete workout number one uh, you know there's still about two minutes more to go so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna write down my time into the calendar so I'm going over here my calendar there's the notes so in the notes you're gonna write down your time my time time is 7 55 so the next time you do this workout, which is gonna be uh, sometime, I guess in the what is it? In the third week of this month, you're gonna do this workout again. So your goal is gonna be to beat your own time, not my time, your time. Okay, so now I'm gonna do my cool down and stretching, and you have to do the same thing. Don't miss your stretching because these workouts are super intense and you, your body is just gonna feel really tense if you don't stretch and also it's gonna help you with recovery, you know, so uh, it's gonna help you not to have this, the muscle pain after the workouts, you know. So, that's it, that's it <laughs> for today. If you guys have any questions, please leave me a comment on the video below on YouTube or on my website. Give me thumbs up if you like my videos and uh, please leave me a review on Amazon. So if you're doing this program and you're getting your results, please leave me a nice review on Amazon.com because it's gonna help me a lot. So that's it, thanks a lot and I'll see you guys tomorrow. We're doing this every day. Ciao. So one last thing, don't forget about your post-workout meal. Now that you have earned your carbs with your workout, you can have some starchy carbs, you can have whole wheat bread, pasta, things like that, but in moderation. You know, measure it with uh, with your hand. So one cup hand, that should be the portion size of your carbs. And still include protein. You have to have protein after your workout. I'm having a protein shake, so there is a protein powder in it, and then just frozen fruit. There is frozen banana and some berries and some almond milk, and that's it. So, um, anyways, I'm ready to do my comments. So if you guys have any questions, fire a comment and I'm right here to reply. Ciao. Hi, I'm Zuska and I have taken my most effective moves and upgraded DVD cardio series that comes with 3 DVDs and 30 day fold out calendar that will guide you day by day to get you into the best shape ever.